let's keep looking at this nav bar. So I want to fix up this search a bit because I'm not entirely happy with the styling for the search box. So first thing I want to do is I actually want to drop the border. Um, I just want to make the background like a little bit lighter than the, than the rest of the header background. So I want to do something when I say place all the border. So I'm just going to check first leave. Anything related to the border we're going to take out. Okay. Now, so by the looks of it, there's still a border from the default styling from Tailwind. Um, so Tailwind doesn't have any styling for like inputs and stuff in default, but there are plugins for Tailwind for typography and for input forms. And I've got the input forms and I've got the typography installed on on this. You'll see it's at the bottom there. No, where is it? Oh, sorry, this is a TS config, this one, I think. There we go. So typography and forms. So the one that forms styles the inputs a little bit. Um, and that's kind of why you're seeing some of the styling like borders and stuff come through from, from there. Um, but anyway, so BG transparent. So I'm not gonna go BG transparent. I'm gonna I'm gonna put some. There we go. Okay. So next thing I want to do is I want to drop the rounded as well. Let's try and make the rounded small and see what that looks like. Um, Next thing I want to do is I want to do and add some padding to it as well. So I'm assuming okay, so I'm assuming there's some padding that gets added to this. There we go. Let's put them separately because I think I'm probably going to end up trying to. Okay, no. Sorry, it wasn't the margin I was trying to change, it was trying to be the padding. That looks a little bit better, but I'm probably going to end up making this th three as well and seeing how that works for me. Maybe even four. Okay. So, at the moment I like four. Um, So I'll have to change up the the focus though. Um, kind of get some focus back to okay, that's way too much. Um, also, it looks a bit weird putting down the styling there. So let's see. Focus PG six hundred. Okay, so that you can actually take out the BG growth because the Pretty much the same now. Placeholder. Actually, I want to check. That do. Maybe like you and four hundred then. I can have three hundred. It is. Okay, so let's see. Rounded. Block. I'll darken it a bit. I kind of wanted to stand up, but I don't want to kind of have the idea that it's already selected or hovered or something. So I kind of want to make it just a little bit more than the background and a little bit less than the like hovered or selected state. Kind of looks okay, but now that we've gone to, we can probably go to 400 over here. Hmm. Interesting. I 
you don't do anything like that if we open up and close there's this very slight part where the where the search suddenly like pops in and then if we make it like let's say 0.5 see that the search challenge becomes and then which means for each one of these children we probably end up having to put some sort of animation as well so basically animate like the opacity or something like that and I did so you open it up and then these things the opacity only comes in after the fact um, We'll look at that in a bit. I first want to do like the fix up this a little bit. Um, how are we going to fix that up? So, a nav link. I've got text white set. Okay, I'm gonna make this a bit smaller. I also want to move these things. Okay, no. To the side. And then on a small, I want to do that. On um, by default, I want to do space six zero, and then by default, I want to do justify between. But then on this, so I want to do justify start. So the idea what Tailwind does is basically applies the starting by default to like the smallest screen. And the moment you put like SM, which is small and something like then that applies for for bigger screens so you start off with a uh, with a starting a one for like the smallest possible screen and then you add the, the starting like with sm or large depending on which what breakpoint you're targeting you put that in and then the styling for that for the screen larger than that then applies based on the special conditions but in this case being sm for small what I want to do here though then is I want to say okay so we've got the div we've got the branding we've got this okay so this would be then the button for that and then this would be I should probably document or just put some um some comments in what each one of these things are but anyway So this will be for search. So this would only apply for largest for larger screens. So we're gonna go start with SM hidden and then go block. Think it's probably then ends up having to be here. No, wait. Okay, so we've got a div up here that we need to figure out. We have a div up here. Alright, so this div. Okay. 
gonna have to flex and justify. This one is not going to have it. Because in this div, what we have here, So we've got a div now for the sort of left hand side. We've got a div now for the right hand side. So we've got a space where I can say, okay, I can't remember how to do comments and react. I'll have to look that up. Um, You know, what happens is that this button that we've got here needs to go in here. We can drop this and just say that this is everything. Actually, we probably can drop the... Just default this to space 2. Drop that one at the center. So we kind of got the space over here for everything that's on the left. We've kind of got the space over here for everything that's on the right. We've got the branding. So by default, then we've got the the menu items, we've kind of got a, a search on the right hand side, but only for for wider devices and then the smaller devices, we've got this button that expands. Sorry, this list of menus links down at the bottom. And you also see that these menus are the same each time. So the idea is that we want this nav link to work for both this drop down kind of list and for the, the list up here if we expand it a bit. Um, one thing I'm finding now is though that the SM is a bit small, so we're probably going to end up having to move away from SM and go to like medium because otherwise, the on medium devices, the, the nav bar will end up getting squished if you put in like search and a whole bunch of other stuff in there. Mm. There's also other layouts you can do for this, like having a, a two column layout where you'll have like the. Okay, let's first fix this and then we can talk about that. Let's see, button tab, do we go? Okay, let's see. Ooh, almost starting a little funky. Okay, so let's see. So now it doesn't look quite as squished. Um, but we're going to end up doing like this on a on a larger thing because we're going to put some probably like a user icon or something at the top right still. Um, and you might end up with like more menu items. So. If we make like a configurable nav bar, we probably end up making it configurable as well. And that you can say which, what parts you want to display when. Um, and then essentially just have like an overflow menu. If there's anything in there. If, so if there ends up anything in the overflow, then you'll display it here in the overflow. 
But so the, okay, so the idea is that for each one of these items, like for except maybe just the title, let's just say that okay, I want these things to display only when when this whole screen is a certain size. So only if this is like on a medium device, display these things here. But if it's on a smaller device, put it in the overflow menu. So you could possibly still have like a search here on like it's an iPad size. Click there, get the menu items over there. For, for an iPad on the full desktop, you'll end up with something like this where the menu items open and then you get all of that stuff. But as it gets smaller, it's like we go like, oh, okay, we now we're getting smaller because of the probably because of like the breakpoints and tailwind or something. You know, like, okay, well, these things are suddenly not being displayable anymore because of the rules that we set up for when, when they're displayable or not. And then go like, oh, okay, we've got content and overflow now, so now we need to display this overflow. So, and then those things end up in the overflow. And the idea is just between the nav link and like the search and stuff is that it should work fine. So, you'll see then in the, in the search that we've got a search here and a search now, and that's kind of probably because there's a rule here still that's a bit, little bit broken. Ah, do you know what it is? That's cause we open it. Block and then it's in although that's medium now. Interesting. Okay, um, I'm gonna leave it here. I think I'm gonna fix up this thing in the, in the meantime because I'll have to first learn out how to add classes to to frame a motion. I also have to have a look at how to do styling on like the child elements. So with this, I'll leave you good. Say goodbye and leave you there. Cheers.